my YouTube family. Thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 48th World where we talk about celebrities and their comings and goings and allegedly stuff that they're getting into that they may or may not have wanted on Front Street. But we're here. We're here. That's Cal Penn, y'all. And that was his previous wife at one point in time. Man, I'm so upset. I'm so upset. He was my Indian husband in my mind, okay? My Indian husband in my mind. He was so, he is so fine. He played on House. Y'all remember that Doctor's uh, sitcom that was on show? Um, I forget the cast members, but he was one of the interns, you know, trying to be a physician. And he was studying under House. Um, and then he also played in Designated Survivor. Uh, so a little Netflix movie. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I don't forgot how many season it is, but I've been watched him. I've been watched the show just to look at him because he's so fine. Even though I like my chocolate brothers, he would make me want to come out my race and date him, marry him, and have kids. All right. I'm just saying. Ooh. He is getting married. He has come out that he is gay, y'all. I'm like, it got to be something in the water. And that's his NASCAR driver fiance next to him at some, I guess, basketball game. But yes, he came out. I don't know why he didn't come out sooner rather than later. Okay, but it just is what it is. He's a, a great comedian. And like I said, he's starred in several shows. Uh, they have graced our screens in our television on our television while we were in our homes looking at him perform. But yes, Cal Penn from what Yahoo News says uh, has come out as gay, shares how his 11 year relationship started with NASCAR driver Josh. Okay. Oh boy, that was a hard shock for me because I just I just could not believe it. I'm like, what is in the water? Why are all our men going for the same gender and not the women? And especially the black women, okay? Seasoned women, me, okay? Whew. Anyway, let's go and get on into this story here. It says, Kyle Penn, most known for his role as Coomer. Patel alongside John Kales, Harold Lee, and the hit Harold and Kumar film franchise have come out as gay and announced his recent engagement. It started with NASCAR. In an interview with Penn, Penn44 teased some details about his new book, You Can't Be Serious. And who would have thought he actually worked in the White House? Uh, alongside Barack Obama and his wife Michelle during their election period. Can you? It's serving on his forum. All right. I'm like, wait a minute. I recognize him. That's former President Barack Obama. I'm like, wait a minute now. How did he come involved with it? Child, he was working as a staffer. But we'll get on into that. I just had to, uh, and that's the designated survivor. Um, what was that man's name? God, I can't think of his name. Who played the president on Designated Survivor. But it's a real good um, syndicated show. Y'all got to go watch it. Sometimes it can get very long. But honey, they need to finish it. Because it didn't end right when his wife got killed. I know I did a spoiler. Ooh, but anyway, it was good, y'all. It was good. And he was one of the people in Designated Survivor as the spokesperson for the president. Like, almost like the House Speaker or something to that degree, I believe. He controlled the press and what was going to be put out for the press to know what's happening in the world, what the president is doing about it, and this third, that, and the third. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, it said it started with NASCAR in an interview with people. Pen 44 teased some details about his new book. You Can't Be Serious, where he talks about his sexuality, family, and his first date with his partner, Josh, whom he met while working in the White House under the Obama administration. Yes, honey. Yeah, he was there all right. And I guess that's why he played such a good um, actor when he was in Designated Survivor. He already knew the spiel of the White House and the comings and goings. So, yeah. 
he was very prolific in that um sitcom show y'all gotta watch it again it's on netflix designated survivor okay and then it goes on to say i'm really excited to share our relationship with readers pn said but josh my partner my parents and my brother four people who i'm closest to in the family are fairly quiet they don't love attention and shy away from the limelight one of the private stories he shared in his book is about his first date with josh which involved a pack of coolers light and nascar I thought this obvious is not going to work out, Penn said. I have one day off from the White House, and this dude is ironically watching cars go around and make left turns. Next thing you know, it's been a couple of months, and we're watching NASCAR every Sunday. I'm like, what is happening? I wanted the reader to enjoy the love and the humor through all of the stories. Okay, so so for me in writing about it, I think the tricky thing was it's very matter of fact in our lives, and we're and when you're the son of an Indian immigrant who says that you want to be an actor, the chaos that that creates in your family and your com community would trump anything else. Always, Penn said, the designated survivor. This is when I first got clued into who he was. And like I said, I completely adored him, fell in love with him, and I was going to change my culture just to be with him. Okay? I mean, that's how deep I was with this guy. But now he don't broke my heart. So, it just is what it is. But he starred in the designated survivor. Uh, he expressed how happy he was to have very supportive friends and family regarding his life decisions and his relationship. Penn told people that any conversation he had with his Indian parents after telling them he wanted to be an actor became super easy. They're just like, yeah, okay, I felt very supported by everyone, he said. That's a wonderful thing. I know everybody has different experiences with that, and so I definitely feel very fortunate. Penn then dis uh, continued to talk about his wedding. While the American actor and former White House staff member wants to have a big wedding, his partner is not a fan of the attention it entails obviously i am engaged to a man and our families will be there for the wedding he said the big disagreement now is whether it's a huge wedding or a tiny wedding i want the big ass indian wedding josh who hates attention he has said oh we could just do a quick 20 minute thing with our families and that's it so we have to meet halfway in the middle on his sexuality in the book he explains uh, he also shared some details about his sexuality, which is set to release on November 2nd. The actor said he found out about his sexuality relatively late in life compared to many other people. There's no timeline on this stuff, Penn said. People figure their ish out at different times in their lives, so I'm glad I did when I did. Okay, and that's pretty much it like i love it you know it just being different with it it just is what it is um i have no really comment on his sexuality because i always thought he just liked the women and now he don't like women he like men and it seems to me and it's just my personal opinion the person that he's marrying seems like he's not really out the closet because he's very shy it seems like he doesn't want to be the limelight or in the limelight where everybody's focused on him from what he's saying in his interview with yahoo not news and what he's putting in his book that he just released uh on today actually so it i don't know i don't know i'm like uh, hopefully it works out but it doesn't seem like you're a nascar uh driver or person who likes nascars is really into letting the world get into their personal life which um cow don't seem to have a problem with it at all so you can tell he's more the extrovert and his um fiance is more of an introvert did i say that right yeah introvert okay yeah so it's it's gonna be uh exciting to see because it seems like he had both worlds he had a woman first time didn't work out for whatever reason now he's wanting to be in the same sex relationship 
So I don't know. I don't know. And like I said, it shocked the shit out of me that he was a part of the Obama administration. I did not know that. I have to go look back in those days, heydays when Barack Obama was president to see. That, can I search for him? Can I see him? You know, when they taking pictures and stuff, because they always have their cabinet staff there with them. But I was like, oh, man, that's why he plays such a good actor in Designated Survivor. Wow. Piece of information. See, you learn something every day, guys. But I just thought I'd break that story out because I was in love with this Indian guy. I really was. But it just is what it is. Que sera, sera. What will be, will be. So, y'all make sure y'all like my videos. Y'all share my videos out. And I will see you next time. Peace.